today. I'm with Georgina Britton from the JP Morgan UK Smaller Companies Investment Trust. So Georgina, what are the biggest mistakes that investors make when trying to pick small cap stocks? Uh, that is a great question. I think I would say overconfidence slash believing the hype. So um, our whole process and how we invest is all about numbers. It's about facts. So it's very easy to meet management. Um, they'll come in and see us who will tell you a fabulous story and a runway for growth for the next 20 years. If they're not delivering the numbers, we're not interested. You, know, you have to start with the facts. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to hear the story. I want to see it coming. I want to see it being played out in front of me. The goal of a fund manager is to have more successes than failures in a portfolio, but I don't think anyone expects you to get it right all the time. So over the years as a fund manager, where have you backed the wrong company and what did you learn from that experience? Um, so, of course we have, uh, sad but true. Um, I think, well, first and foremost, what, what, what we do and what I do is when we get it wrong, we cut our losses. We sell, we may have lost money, Chances are we've got it wrong, we have lost money, but we'd much rather take that money out and reinvest it in a company that's going to make us uh, and our investors money. So that's the kind of, that's the starting point for us. So, as I said, you know, naturally we, we have got things wrong. Um, I think a nice example is the um, video games area. And we invested very successfully in this area. The dynamics of the whole industry were changing and we were... Uh, again, we did a lot of work on this and we were early to, to, to pick up why, uh, why the whole industry had changed and also um, the massive growth in demand, which people had underestimated. So we did extremely well. Um, we bought three floats, Codemasters, Sumo and Team 17. Two of those three got taken out for very nice, very nice, uh, very nice prices. So, um, and Team 17, we, we still own, actually, and we've owned since float. So we thought we were sort of masters of this space and two more IPOs came along and we bought into both of them, um, Tiny Build and Evolver. Um, I say we, 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 we were pretty confident in, in our knowledge of this space um, and both of them um, had profit warnings and, and have, have disappointed severely. So as I said, first thing we did, cut and run. So we don't own those um, anymore. Um, but when we look back on it, you know, what you know, we were so excited by this space, but actually by the time you get five IPOs in quite short um, time frame coming into a certain area of the market, that should tell you that if that's just the UK market, um, and we're big in, in gaming in this country, but I say in manufacturing and games, um, but that kind of amount of capital coming in just in the UK was replicated around a lot of the world. So too much money came in, too much competition, and, and hence the results. So when, we, when we, we stood back afterwards and said, what, what went wrong? We were too busy congratulating ourselves on our success and failing to look at the changes, the changing dynamic of, of the landscape. Do you prefer to invest in established businesses or are you actually happy to look at less mature companies even if they don't make a profit? In, Almost categorically, no. We like profitable companies with cash flow. So we will see companies that are in an early stage with, again, an exciting story, but it's only a story because they're not producing any profits. Um, and we'll monitor them and we'll watch them. And we will happily buy later as they become more proven. Obviously, the share price will have gone up, but a lot of the risks will have been removed. What's been your most successful investment? What led you to own that stock? Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to name two. Um, Ashted and JD Sports. And both of those we bought in small cap. So obviously they were small cap companies. Um, JD was under 300 million market cap at the time. Um, they, for, di for different reasons, Ashtab was, um, was small cap because people were concerned about risk and balance sheet and failed to look at the assets that they own um, versus the, the debt um, that the banks were happy to lend them. Um, and JD Sports was just quite a liquid stock, so quite difficult to buy, um, but um, and flying under a lot of radars. You know, even the, even the retail analysts that I spoke to, a number of them were like, who's JD Sports? I'm like, do you... Do you you walk down the high street? Anyway, um, and both of those um, I can name out and out as successes because we had to sell them in the end when they went into the FTSE 100. So we rode them all the way up 
small cap, mid cap, into the FTSE 100. So multi, multi times our money. Well, Georgina Britton from the JP Morgan UK Smaller Companies Investment Trust, thank you very much for talking to us today. Pleasure. And thanks for watching. Thank you.